What's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Ubuntu Unity is in front of us right now. Uh, I was shocked to find out that it's still alive, but it is. And it's been updated to Unity 7 modernized with Yara and uh, some Paparaz theming. I don't know if I said that right, but we're going to check this out inside of a VM because this is nostalgia land for me back in 1106. 1106? Was it 1110 or 1104? 1104 before I ditched Ubuntu forever. Let's go take a look at this. Okay, here we are. Ubuntu Unity. Ooh. Now this this brings back a lot of memories, all right? Um this was it before GNOME 3. Uh, I believe it was a desktop environment that was built off of GNOME 2 and just totally overhauled to be its own individual desktop environment because it has a lot of old uh GNOME 2 feeling things, which is not bad at all. Now, I did want to actually get this installed on, you know, an Arch distro at one point, but nah, nah, that would have been bad. But this, I honestly, this brings back a lot of memories, hopefully for you and for me. Plus, it's modernized. What does it even mean, it's modernized? Oh, <laughs> that is a much better desktop wallpaper than what Ubuntu is shipping out. Oh my god, look at that thing. I'm going to go and actually, should we run through the installer? Well, there's no point. The installer hasn't really changed at all uh, ever since, I guess, its first inception. So so the installation is done. We're currently just restarting. And hit enter. Pop that back out. At the very end, it installed open VM tools. Now that, that is something every distro should do once they know it's on a virtual machine. I find that brilliant. So we're just going to automatically adjust the desktop resolution. Look at that nice screen right there. That is that is beautiful. Look at it. Just look at it. And they still consider this a dash, I guess. It kind of is. It's more like a dock that's just stuck to the side. And I see that they've um they've actually themed it according to the wallpaper. So Let's see what wallpapers they have real quick here because this one is a bit much. Let's try this one. Hmm, it's a little bit low resolution. They could probably do better. 2104. Not bad, not bad. I believe this is the original. Yeah, it's ugly. It's beyond ugly. Ugh. Stop with the hair. The hair does not need to be there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, let's go to appearance real quick. Oh, can I actually just click appearance? No, it's not going to let me. I am using 2104. You need to realize that. We're going to actually view this and just see what is going to be done in here. So USB open. It's nothing uh, really that improves performance, but security, yes, security, definitely. Oh, if you remember. Look, it had fancy-ass blur. It was very nice blur, too. I, I actually wish that the blur would be applied uh, when it wasn't clicked. And, like, the nostalgia's there. I mean, it's pretty much the same as it always was, except for new icons and stuff like that. It, it's pretty cool. Now, I did do the minimal install. I always tend to do that. Let's go into system settings. Look at this. This looks nice. All settings. Uh, there's appearance. Okay, so behavior, look, appearance, right? Uh, where can we... Ooh, by the way, guess what? Unity Tweak Tool is already installed, so we can go and actually mess around with everything. So we can go change the icons if we want to circle, make it look really fancy. Um, we can go to theme and change it from arc darker or unity dark to whatever we want so if we want to click this and we can or if we want to go to arc darker and arc dark oh it's not actually dark let's try this yeah yeah there i mean we can lighten things up a bit i mean this looks good this is nice and easy on the eyes it's not too dark uh we have the original adwella dark right that looks good the original ambience ugly theme but I think I'm going to stick with this one most of all. 
So everything here is exactly what you expect it to be. It's exactly like Unity was originally when it left off. Uh, it could be customized as so. Uh, I like their Bluetooth a lot better than I actually like what GNOME has going on. So it's an up-to-date, modernized version of Unity for Ubuntu, and it works. It actually freaking works. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. I like it. I honestly like it. I think it should have been uh, presented as an option in the official Ubuntu. And people probably would still use it because uh, the integration for certain things up here is actually pretty good. So, like, the global menu and all that. Uh, ooh, my favorite part is probably the file manager. So if we go in here, uh, that's the archive manager. Where's the file manager? Where is it? File... I mean, files looks great, right? I would like rounded corners, more rounded than they are now, but, you know, it's it's good. The nostalgia's there. It's it's modernized. It's like they mixed just new parts together. And look, individual settings. God darn it, really? Individual settings. Clicks up here for audio. You can adjust your mic audio in here and everything like that, and it actually, it's pretty good. So guys, tell me what you think of Unity in 2021. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you looking forward to 2104? Uh, the hippo. The hairy hippo. I'm, I'm not looking forward to looking at that background when I go to install the final version and to do a review on it. Uh, I'm definitely not looking forward to looking at that ugly ass thing. But these hippos, as they are now, are beautiful creatures. Anyway, guys, hit that like button. Uh, it helps with the algorithm on YouTube as it's currently broken, and I appreciate it more than you will ever know. Don't forget to subscribe. We're near 19K subscribers, which is a big milestone for me. 20,000 is the goal. And uh, don't forget to join the community Discord for Linux emulation and Unreal Engine 4 type stuff. Or uh, if you guys want to request something on an application or anything like that, let me know in the Discord in the feature section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and learn Linux because learning new things every day keeps your brain fresh.